Hello this, welcome to my video series tutorial to talk about Microsoft Semantic Kernel. One of our video series tutorial, I talk about Microsoft Semantic Kernel using C Sharp. And most of them has requested how to use in Python language. For them, I just started this series. So both C Sharp and Python series will go together. Let's start how to implement Semantic Kernel concept using Python language. One of our video, I talk about Microsoft Semantic Kernel. The link I will provide in the description. You can go and check it out. So in this video, I'm not going to again explain this concept. What is Semantic Kernel? Why this SDK has been developed? So complete information available in my video. I will provide the link. You can check this information. Next, PIP package. So using this Semantic Kernel SDK, you have to install this PIP package in your PC. At the moment, is a pre-release version. Soon we'll get the release version 1.0, hopefully end of this month. Make sure you have to install this package in your PC. Visual Studio Code plus Jupyter Notebook. To install this Jupyter Notebook, you can go to the extension. You can search this Jupyter and install this one. This version, I installed in my PC. So let's start how to implement semantic kernel application. Here I define all the steps which we are going to follow in this program. The first step, extract the key, endpoint, and deployment name from the environment file. You can define these three information in environment file or you can directly assign it. It's as your wish. But I keep this information in this environment file. This is the first step. Here I'm going to add the code block. First, I should read these three information, API key, endpoint, and deployment name. To read this information from the environment file, first we have to import the OS package. So API key equal to os.get in the environment key name is open ai api key endpoint and deployment name deployment name I read API key, endpoint, and deployment name. We first execute this block, make sure there is no issues. Seems to be fine. Our main code started from in this step, initiate a kernel object. So first we have to initiate the kernel object. For that, first I'm going to use the package from semantic kernel import import kernel object so here we are going to initiate the kernel object kernel so kernel block is ready the next step we have to integrate the azure chart completion service and include this service into the kernel object so first we have to use this Azure chart completion service, pass required information to make the service is ready. Once the service has been ready, this we have to attach to the kernel object. So here, first step, I'm going to add this Azure chart completion package. So from, again, semantic kernel dot connector dot AI dot open AI import Azure chart completion. Once we import the package, next step, I'm going to pass all the required information to this API. So Azure chart service, chart service equal to Azure chart completion. Here we have to pass one by one. First, the parameter deployment name. Deployment name we define. One second, I keep like this. Deployment name we define in the variable 
here this deployment name next we have to pass a api key endpoint and one more the one more required parameter service id we have to pass this is a required parameter in case in your kernel you added one or more service you have to identify the service that's the reason we have to provide this service id here my service id i used like a chatbot like this this is my service id once our service is ready this service we have to add into the kernel we have already initiated the kernel object so i just use i keep this one small so here i use kernel dot kernel dot add service function we have to call we have to pass the azure chat completion object so here we passed this information so our kernel and our service is ready oops there is an error i have to execute this one next i have to execute this one yeah it's gone two step is ready next step we have to define the prompt settings to define the prompt settings here i'm going to add next code block prompt settings means parameter of the prompt so azure open ai you have to set the parameters to get the correct information or to accurate information based on your prompt so that settings we have to define it here here i write the code prompt settings kernel i requested get prompt execution settings pass my service id to get the parameter information prompt settings dot max token 100 like that you can define what are the parameters needed you can define it in this settings once the setting is ready we have to create the prompt function this prompt function we have to add into the kernel there is a next step to add this one i'm going to add the next code block here to create the prompt function we have to import prompt template config module so that's also available in semantic kernel dot prompt template import prompt template config first step i define my prompt so which question sent to the prompt so here i set a prompt text this is a user defined information so my what is python this is my question next i have to create the template so prompt template template prompt template config our template is this one we which we assign here prompt text this is template next name of the template we have to define so the name of the template is prompt or we call this hello prompt this is my name of the template next which template format we are going to use there are three different kind of template available at the moment i am going to use this uh, semantic kernel template later we will see other uh, template information that i passed finally we have to pass the prompt ex settings so that's available in the execution settings our object name is prompt settings that i passed our prompt template is ready so this template we have to add into the kernel so here we add like this kernel dot add function 
So this function we store into one variable called prompt function. Prompt function. So add function. Here we have to define the function name. So function name called as like prompt function. Next, prompt template config. So which template we are going to, prompt template we are going to use. Prompt template config, prompt template, which we define in this step. So here we defined prompt template. So this information I passed. To add a function, you have to specify the function name. So the function name, at the moment we hard code it, function name prompt function and this function name, which template should refer, that we passed into the prompt template config. So here we assign our prompt template. That's it. Function also added into the kernel. Finally, we have to execute the kernel object. For that, I'm going to add one more code block here. Use the result variable to store the result. Kernel dot invoke we have to pass the which function should invoke prompt function so this function has to invoke uh, this is a wait function we have to add a wait finally we print the result fine so seems to be we covered all the steps we run the step run all there is an error here which prompt function yes while creating the function we have to specify the plugin name also the required argument is missing in this function add function i have to define the plugin name here so plugin name like uh, semantic kernel plugin so just a user defined name define it that's it we run again so all the block executed finally we get the result so python is high level some information we get it these are the steps to write the hello prompt i would call hello prompt using the semantic kernel sdk in upcoming videos, we talk about more about semantic kernel concept Python language.